guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, do be free to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys. But today is currently Saturday, um, October 9th. And today my family and I are having Thanksgiving dinner because Thanksgiving is on Monday, but that's when I go back t uh, to my residence. And then tomorrow on Sunday, when we usually have Thanksgiving, because we don't really usually have Thanksgiving on Monday, we usually have it on that Sunday, but John works, so it really just doesn't work out. But today worked out, because John doesn't work, I'm home, and so we're having Thanksgiving dinner uh, tonight, which I'm really excited for. I really love Thanksgiving dinner, but today seems like the typical, like, Thanksgiving day. It's like it's nice outside, but it is it's warm kind of I think but it's not it's always gloomy It seems to be on like Thanksgiving days But um trippy red dropped sleepy hollow, which is an amazing song in my opinion It's really short. It's like gives off like it's like it's It's even shorter. I think than the Grinch and I love The Grinch, and I wish, to be honest, Sleepy Hollow and The Grinch were on their songs. But I really, Sleepy Hollow, because I, I heard it like from a snippet once or twice. And then when it dropped, I honestly had it on repeat. I think I listened to it on the day it came out a hundred times. But it really gave off the Dark Knight Dumbo feel to me. Because in it, he says, in Dark Knight Dumbo, he says, Big 14 know what know what's going on and then in sleepy hollow he says the exact same thing and so i asked uh john's alexa if she could play sleepy hollow and then she couldn't find the song and believe it or not this is a true story she played dark knight dumbo which i thought that was kind of cool because i thought it sounded like dark knight dumbo and apparently she thought it sounded like or i guess like kind of like she played like a so like a related song to Sleepy Hollow in a way, but Trippy Red is dropping um, Pegasus finally on October 30th, and I'm really excited for. And this might be like an unpopular opinion, but I, I like the cover of Pegasus. I know a lot of people are hating on it, saying it looks sus, but I, I like the cover. I think it looks good. And of course, there are a bunch of fan-made covers that look amazing, but. I, I like the cover, I like how it looks and all that, but um, it's not going to be like a love letter to you for that cover was, I was, that was like probably the best Trippy Red cover besides like Life's a Trip in my opinion. And I just, I like Pegasus as well, but like you can't really kind of like top like, like a love letter to you for because that cover is absolutely amazing. But I'm really excited for Pegasus and... There's a song on there, TR666, that was, has been released since like 2018 or something with Sway Lee on it. And I had that song on my playlist for a while. Um, and then it got taken down and I wondered where it went. But that is going to really be re-released on Pegasus. And then another one of my favorite, I think it's my favorite unreleased trippy song, is called We. And I'm really excited to hear that song as well. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to upload the last video, I guess yesterday's video, I don't know when I'm posting this, but the last video on my channel, so if you guys haven't already watched that, it's just my um, music genres outside of hip hop, so uh, like my influences in music from other genres, so go check that out if you haven't already, but I'll catch you guys sometime later today. the next day and honestly I recorded one clip yesterday um because like we had Thanksgiving and then after Thanksgiving um we we hung out with neighbors um for like a little bit from like nine until midnight last night actually probably after midnight something like that and it was a lot of fun and so I didn't really record much I planned on recording couple clips yesterday um but i only recorded one so it's 
it's the next day now and my mother and I are planning on going grocery shopping today because I do go back to my residence tomorrow um, I, don't, I don't know when I'd be back home again but I'm gone for a good period of time now until I I don't know maybe maybe Christmas maybe sometime in November or something like that I don't know when I'll be back but we are going to get groceries now um, because we would have got groceries like the other because last time we got like kind of like the uh, like boxes and stuff like stuff that's the non-perishables uh, here and then we went to London and we got like milk and stuff but tomorrow is Thanksgiving when I'm going home so like all the grocery stores will be closed so we're pretty much just bringing like a cooler and stuff to London tomorrow um, cause like I, I need milk and stuff and it just it's, diff it, it's different but it, it's kind of easy at the same time but not really so we are about to go to the grocery store and pick up some groceries so I'll probably catch you guys when we are back from that success I just pretty much got a bunch of stuff that I need for pretty much to eat and stuff so I got like milk I got um, I tried I got uh, mr. noodle I got one of those things um, just to try out I've never honestly had them before but it looks pretty good so I decided why not I'm going to try it out and I just got a bunch of other things I didn't get any fruits and vegetables because we we're going up there's a place like a farmers market not too far from here to get like fresh lettuce and like stuff like that so I can make like BLTs and other stuff like that and get like um, fresh fruits and stuff like that so it's nice and fresh for when I eat vegetables and fruit and other stuff like that so uh, I don't know when we're gonna be doing that but I know it's soon so I'm probably gonna have lunch in between coming back from the store and then going to the farmer's market so um, I'll probably catch you guys back sometime maybe when I'm back from the farmer's market or maybe before we leave so I just finished having lunch and we had, or I had, um, I was pretty much like the only one who had lunch. But I had just like pizzas, little pizzas that I could stick in the toaster oven. And they were quick, so we are about to go to the farmer's market right now. Um, and just pick up, like I said, fruits and vegetables so I can bring those to my residence. They're going to be like really fresh fruits and vegetables, so they're going to be really good. And uh, every time my parents have gone to this uh, farmer's market, it has been really good and really nice. And so um, I'm excited to get like really fresh fruits and vegetables. So um, I'll probably catch you guys there. got back from the farmer's market honestly it was really cool it was like one of the I think I've only been to a farmer's market a couple times and I it was really cool I really enjoyed it there were a bunch of huge pumpkins there was a massive pumpkin I wish I took footage of it or photos or anything but it was like massive um, and it was really cool it was like a white massive pumpkin um, and honestly I it was I was like, whoa, that pumpkin is huge. But um, 
I got apples, I got tomatoes, and I got lettuce. Um, and the tomatoes and lettuce are for my BLTs. Um, because I love making BLTs. It's honestly amazing. All my BLTs I put, I add a couple things. Sometimes I put like a slice of chicken and a slice of ham and cheese to add to it. Um, and I, I really enjoy it. They're really good. But anyway, right now, probably just gonna, I don't know, go on my computer, watch Netflix or something like that. Maybe organize myself for when we leave tomorrow. So, um, I'll catch you guys later. So it is now the next day and we are packed up and ready to go back to my residence and I was supposed to record a lot more yesterday than I actually did but something happened so I'll explain that in the video when I'm probably at my residence um, but this video was supposed to be done yesterday and then so I can edit it and then have it ready and then start a whole new video um, like just so like a whole new fresh video going back to um, residence and stuff like that but we are all ready and packed up to go so anyway I'll probably catch you guys when we are leaving We are all now packed up, ready to go. The car is completely packed. We're just gonna go get gas, and then I think we're coming back here uh, just to use the washroom, and then we're officially on the road. I won't record any time in between there, so um, I'll catch you guys in London in my residence, and hopefully this time I can actually film there and not forget my camera. So I have arrived now, um, I don't know, let me, there, I, so I have arrived now back um, in my residence, so I have my suitcase to unpack, my backpack, and then out here, I just have these groceries to unpack, so I'm going to be getting to that, and then um, we're going to get lunch so um i'll probably catch you guys sometime later i have been editing my video for the past little while honestly i really enjoyed editing this video and all like the little cool shots that i've been doing I want to incorporate more of those shots into my videos now um, and even in this semester, even in my my uh, courses, I'll be learning about different shots and like how to make good films and videos so if you see like a change in my videos just know that um, I've been learning some new stuff in school and I just want to experiment with video making and just kind of making cool things and using my original music in the videos and all the music that you hear is my original music stuff that has not been released um, on like platforms honestly I don't even think will get released but some of them might some of them I really enjoy listening to them in my videos and I'm like wow I think I actually want to release that but see this was the plan when I first came up to edit the video before and edit it like this when I first came up and then have it posted so I have been editing this video and honestly it has come along very well. 
Um, and yes, I do use iMovie, um, but that's not to take away anything. I do have Premiere Pro, but I'm just mostly comfortable with iMovie. I'm comfortable with Premiere Pro. I might switch over to Premiere Pro, but honestly, I'm really comfortable with iMovie, and if I'm comfortable with iMovie, I'm going to continue using iMovie and just, just creating stuff on iMovie. But I might explore Premiere Pro, but iMovie has all the stuff that I need, and like it's free honestly so if you're trying to create videos to begin with i suggest using imovie because it has a lot of tools on it and stuff like that but i'm all settled in my bed is made my desk is all organized now and i finally have a calendar here and stuff like that but what i always find weird coming back here um especially the first time when i came up um and my parents left was that because I usually am able to like say I get bored I'm usually allowed I, I usually get out of my room and then go downstairs and I like, kind of bother my parents and just talk to them and whatnot but I mean, obviously I can't do that but I can like video call them on messenger which we do a lot we do video call a lot um, and they they like that because it's like well, I don't know if my father likes that, but my mother likes it because she she says, like, I'm not, she doesn't feel like I'm far away in a way, you know, and because, I don't know, when she was going to school, when my dad was going to school, they didn't really have, I guess they wouldn't have any video calling, um, but honestly, I'm not too far from home, it's around two hours away, so honestly, um, I'm probably, maybe November, go home. Uh, I won't be anytime soon um, because I just came back. Um, I know I won't be home for Halloween, um, and honestly, they're not going to be doing much for Halloween anyway because there's still restrictions. And uh, but yeah, so I've just been relaxing, just editing this video, and uh, I'll probably catch you guys later um, talking about my favorite underground rappers. So my favorite rappers that are in the underground is the topic today and there are a lot of rappers that are in the underground and there are a lot of really good rappers that are in the underground and should be mainstream but are not mainstream and there are a lot of mainstream rappers that honestly shouldn't be mainstream and should make way for the underground rappers and it kind of should be swapped around because i don't know i feel like pop smoke said it best he said um i think he said something along the lines of like you are not worse than people you are better than people that's why your music is not getting heard and that's kind of like a true statement because like some of the best underground artists have different sounds than the mainstream and if it's different than the mainstream it usually doesn't get heard because it's different but that being said, I found a lot of my underground artists that I really listened to through YouTube channels. One of them, some of them being like uh, Patrick CC, uh, Lua Lua, Lycan, Intensify, Charts, just like hip hop channels like that. And just watching all these compilations and then finding artists that I really enjoy. And then from there on, it recommends songs on Spotify through the underground that I really enjoy. And I, I have a whole playlist on my phone, um, and if I can find it, it is an underground playlist. Um, so this is the underground playlist I have here, and I have people on here. I have Ty Fontaine, I have The Holiday, Poor Stacy, DC to Dawn, Syllable, Lil Papa, Hot Boy, uh, Glory Santana, Yeah Bank, Lil Spirit, Too Rare, Care Love, uh, West Side Jit, Ta Childhood, Justin Rari, YSN Flow, Melvani, uh, Zay47, Yellow Zoo, Dana Mar, OG Stevo, Big Q, uh, Demex Tia, Tommy Ice, Ken Valor, Armani, Space914, Devin, Natalie, Eric Re Repred, 
rep I don't know how to say his name. I, I definitely butchered it. Uh, Blaine, uh, SBKP, um, Kilval, Curly J, six three seven, Godwin, Sad Frosty, Little Sill, Kyle the Hooligan, YSN Fab, five six, Jelani Imani, Koi, uh, Moxus, Reister, Turbo. Uh, Johnny Two Phones, Story X, Aiden Haley, uh, Hannah, uh, H -K H B K Bands, Avery, Zach Greer, Big Baby Gucci, uh, Bad Mon Sham, Quay the Artist, uh, Sun Kuma, um, Kevin Kazi, Blue Nova, uh, Savage Gasp, um, Lil Saucy, Lil Nemo, um, Glaive, RMR, Wario Slim, Toneless, Lil Goat, She Loves Michi, uh, KFAX, uh, Young Liv, um, Project Zach, uh, Era, Johnny MD, Ill Nikki, Gerard Anthony, uh, The Kids Season, and those, if honestly, if you guys probably haven't, you've probably haven't heard of most of these artists, um, and I've just been really exploring the underground. Honestly, I really love this playlist. I'll link it down below. And I do honestly suggest um, like checking it out. And from those artists, I will, I'm will. i going to make a top five um, of my favorite. So number one is Ty Fontaine. Number two is um, DC to Dawn. And then number three is Poor Stacy. Um, number four is Blue Nova. And um, number five is um, Little Spirit. And those are just the top five. There are a bunch of artists other than them that I really enjoy. But those are just the top five. And I really enjoyed um, some of them have projects out. Like DC the Dawn has a project out. Um, actually most of them actually have projects out they all actually have projects out but I'll link uh, like I said the playlist down below and they have those artists on there but um, I'm really looking forward to Ty Fontaine's new album he dropped I believe two new songs off of it um, one was um, he I know it, one was Cuff Jeans but also another one was um, if Delect delectable I'm looking on my screen over here and then he has deuce and juice uh, of course um, and so the album that he's going to be dropping actually this Friday is called we are not the same and I'm really looking forward to that album as well and so the song that got me into Ty Fontaine is moments so if you haven't heard he heard that um, go check it out and another song is imagine so um, check that song out as well if you want to listen like starting to listen to an artist or Ty Fontaine Those are two songs I suggest for you. And then the next artist um, is, uh, is Is DC the Dawn So he has an album. I think an album maybe a mixtape. I don't know uh, Called come as you are and he has songs off of there that I really enjoy uh, he has songs like uh, campfire story um, and there's another one off there that I really like I'm pretty sure uh, it's Eclipse is also on there so those are songs I suggest that you listen to if you want to check out DC to Dawn uh, but my favorite one by him is campfire story and then we have poor Stacy so the song that got me into poor Stacy was makeup off of his I don't care uh, EP um, so songs like Lost is on there as well, Hollow. So those are songs that got me into uh, DC or Poor Stacy. So check out Poor Stacy. Those are the songs. But then he also has more of like a rock album or rock style songs with The Breakfast Club and the deluxe version of it. So honestly, the songs that I would check out for uh, if you're trying to get into Poor Stacy are Lost, Hollow, and Make Up. Um, and now we have, um, if I can find it, we have, 
Um, Blue Nova. So Blue Nova is a really, really underrated artist. Um, and I found him, I believe, through Intensified or something like that. And he has an, an album or like a mixtape. I'm not sure what it is. But he also produces his beats. So he's also a beat producer. And he has an album mixtape called Vega. And the songs I really enjoyed off of there are Toxic and Yeah and also uh, Sad. So go check out if you want to get into Blue Nova. I suggest checking out the songs Yeah, Toxic and Sad. And my favorite Blue Nova song has to be Toxic, hands down. It is just an amazing song. And now the last artist I said was uh, Lil Spirit. And um, he dropped a an album or mixtape I'm not sure what to call them called American Spirit this year he's another internet money artist um, or was it's because I know poor Stacy was an internet money artist just like um, he came up around the same time as Ian Dior did but he hasn't got the same recognition that he deserves but anyway my favorite um, or Lil Spirit dropped a project called American Spirit and he has songs on there that I really enjoy like Alien, Nobody Else, Nothing to Prove, Come Home and the songs I suggest or the songs that really got me into um, into Little Spirit are uh, I believe Ugly and Nothing to Prove and then he also has a really good song off the Internet Money album Before the Storm which is called Devastated so those are songs that if you want to listen to Little Spirit to get into Little Spirit I suggest checking out those songs but those have been my favorite underground artists <laughs> My dinner is cooking now. I am having these little pizzas from the fridge right or the freezer right here. I'm having these for dinner, so uh, I do believe that is going to have to end off today's video. So I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed, and if you liked watching another video, you guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. Peace out, Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.